Now our topic is beyond price. Why a reputable web host is crucial for website security? A hosting provider is responsible for storing the files of our website. When we are deciding that we should avail the services of a particular web host, then we must keep in mind certain points. First is strong security track record. We can search online about the views of its customers. If the track record is good, it shows that the firm is fully committed about the security of the data of the company that is clients. Then we must also find out whether the company also provides or the web hosting provider also provides the facility of SSL certificates that is the secured security layer. In simple words, I can tell you that suppose this is the website and these are the users. Suppose it is Amazon. I am not promoting the name of any company. It is just for the purpose of clarification. Suppose this is the website of Amazon and the user is interacting with it and at one stage when the person has decided what products it wants to use and after that it has to made payment with your credit card or net banking. So at that stage it will have to enter credit card or other details and it may be just like that. Suppose one, two, three, four, five, then password. In the ordinary form, there is if there is a communication, the hackers may intercept in the communication, and all this data which is being entered, such as the passwords, the username, credit card details, expiry date, CVV, etc., will go to the hacker because they are very technologically advanced and they can intercept in the communication and all these details of username, passwords and other details will go to the hacker and they will misuse it. So to avoid that, SL certificates put a sort of tunnel or a sort of coverage about around all these details which are being entered by you. They provide a coverage or a sort of tunnel around the communication which is taking place between the website and the users. And this is not visible to the hacker what communication is taking place. The communication takes place between the user and the website in an encrypted form. That is the communication is not readable if even if it assesses the hacker assesses the information which is being communicated he will not be able to decode it. So this is we must find out whether our hosting provider this facility of secure security layer then we must also see that whether the hosting provides us the facility of DDoS protection. What is it means? In simple words we can say that suppose this is the website and suppose your website has the ability to handle 2000 I am talking only in general terms and not in technical terms suppose your website is in a position to handle 2000 users at a time and if say 2 lakh users start use approaching your site what will what will happen the your website server will crash and even the your genuine customers will not be able to assess your site so this is the ddos attacks so 
in case of DDoS attacks, the hacker will use many compromised computers, a large number of compromised computers. And from all that, compromised systems, the user will start traffic which goes to your website and ultimately your website will not be accessible. So we should see that whether the hosting provider provides us the protection from DDoS attacks that is denial of service attacks. Next we have to also see that whether the hosting provides us the facility of malware detection and removal. If the hosting provider provides the tool for malware detection and its removal, then your website can be secured from many types of cyber attacks. Then you have also to see whether the hosting provider provides the facility of regular backups automatically. That is you have not to take backup. The hosting provider will automatically backup your files so that in case of any accidental deletion or cyber security attack, you can make use of the backup which is being maintained by the hosting provider. Then when you are finalizing the hosting provider, you must also, all the hosting providers ha may be having many plans. They may be having separate price for the same. You have to find out which plan suits your current needs as well as future needs. If you think that today only your website is expected to reach only to get only 2000 users per day. But you must also keep in mind what will happen after one month, what after six months or because you cannot change your hosting provider every month or every six months. So you will have to keep in mind what is your expectation about the a traffic load in future. What are the facilities which are being provided by the hosting provider and what is the storage space which is being provided? What is your need and what storage space is being provided and at what price? You have to make comparison of the uh, benefits or the qualities or the features of various plans being provided by the different hosting providers and after comparing all the features of different plans and also your current needs and future needs, you have to decide about the hosting provider and the particular plan which is being offered by the hosting provider. Now our topic is the first line of defense implementing strong passwords for website security. It often happens that every year the accounts of millions of people get hacked. The main reason is that the individuals choose to have a very simple passwords such as A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. These like so passwords are often we use. These simple passwords are very easy for the hackers to crack. So here we will discuss some tips so that we can have strong passwords which are not easy for the hackers to crack. First is length of the password. Length of the password should be more than 8. That is we can keep it as A, B, C, D at the rate 1, 2, 3, 4. That is total length. I am not suggesting that these types of passwords should be maintained. We will discuss it in more in detail. That is the length of the password should be at least 8 characters long. 
more the tractors it will be good but if we keep very big password the tractors are very lengthy it may be easy, not be easy for us to remember then we can keep, make it complex how we can make it complex we can keep it complex by writing it in upper words upper characters we can also use simple uh, normal characters then we can use special symbols these types of symbols and then we are to also use numericals so in this way we can make the password strong here this is the upper case this is the lower case these are the special characters and these are the numericals we can write it properly i am only here giving example then we are to maintain uniqueness what it means uniqueness means suppose we are having bank account with three banks a bank b bank and c bank it may be possible that in all cases we are having this password in all these cases we are using the same password for the purpose of simplicity so that we need not to remember the password in each and every case but it should not be same, the same the password sometimes we think that here 1 2 3 4 here we keep it 2 3 4 5 here we keep it 3 4 6 5 and after some time we keep it change it in this way it should not also happen you must remember that that in the history there was one of the cyber attacks in which the cyber attackers used our history of the passwords which we had used in the past and by collecting the passwords which we had used on the various websites in the past they launched the cyber attack and that hackers were in a position to get the access to about 20 million accounts in this way so we should keep the different passwords for each and every account online account either it is bank account or insurance account or any other e-commerce sites such as amazon flipkart or any other we should have separate passwords for each of these accounts for then we should change the passwords after every two three months but we should not repeat the same passwords then we should use multi-factor authentication mfa or 2fa two-factor authentication what is this in this case it one is the your password which you are having in the uh, upper case lower case numerical and special character this is the normal password and after that when you enter your password some sort of code comes to your mobile and you have to enter that and only after entering that otp you can get access to the, your website so we should enable multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication in some cases there is some sort of finger recognition or such like security measures are there which we can implement then it often ha happens that when we are choosing the passwords for our website or any other online account we to keep the password simple and rememberable we use the passwords of our wife our son or any other person which we like we may also use the date of birth of our son or wife or any other person so we should not or anniversary date we sh should not use the names of our relatives or our close friends or any of our dates such as wedding date birth date as passwords because 
नॉर्मली वी पुट और वी रिसीव बर्थडे विशेज और एनिवर्सरी विशेज एंड दाइबर क्रिमिनल्स आर ऑलवेज एक्टिव टू कलेक्ट द पर्सनल इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द पर्सन एंड इन दिस वे दे कैन ईजिली गेस द पासवर्ड ऑफ अवर्स तो वी शुड नॉट यूज अवर नेम्स एंड डेट ऑफ बर्थ एज पासवर्ड देन वी शुड नॉट कीप अवर पासवर्ड इन अनसिक्योर्ड लोकेशन what it means it means that normally we may be writing our password on our desktop in some file it may be possible that if the hacker gets unauthorized access to our account he may also get the passwords of our all other online account so we should not keep our passwords in any of the files in our desktop or laptop it may also happen that we write it it on notepad and keep the said notepad beside our laptop or desktop and it may also happen that if we are not present at the time when the notebook is lying there or we have forgot to pick up the notepad the other person may have access to all our passwords so whenever we use the passwords we should keep the notepad in a very secure location it may be also possible that we find it difficult to generate the password so we can take the help of an online site strong password generator dot org you can take the help of that and we can also take the help of password manager password manager is just like a bank wallet where you keep your valuable items the password manager helps you in generating and storing the passwords and you can assess the password whenever you require it so strong password is the first line of defense in the case of website security so we should keep in mind the length uniqueness and complexity of the passwords and how to generate the passwords and in this way we can take a step towards making our website secure Thanks for watching. If you like our course, please spare some time to give a star rating to our course.